Okay guys, uh, today I'm going to do a video on making a Celtic knot. I made a video just recently um, with a tool handle that had a Celtic knot on it and uh, it was my first time to try it. I didn't videotape the uh, tape. What's a tape? I didn't make a video of the Celtic knot itself or the making of it so I was going to try to do that. It'd be a lot easier to start with a piece of square stock so if you're trying to replicate this I would suggest that. but. I like to try to make things out of uh, natural uh, wood that I just collect. So this is a piece of cedar. And so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is just trying to make a square block out of it. If you start from a square block, your life would be easier. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna number the sides. Side one, side two, side three, and side four. Remember I said this one is just square-ish. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the same angle on all of the sides. And I typically you would do 45 degrees, but I'm actually gonna do 22 and a half which is just half of that because I want my whole thing to be a bit skew so I'm gonna go right there and I'm gonna come over here to side two I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just carrying these lines around just as a reference Then I'm gonna go right there. Carry these lines around again to side three. Last side four. Now, if you want everything on your Celtic knot to line up just right, you should be more precise than I am. But, so over there, side one, side two, side three, and side four, all identical markings. We're gonna cut the same angle and re-glue it back together. Uh, depending on what you're doing, uh, when you cut this, you, you can cut almost all the way through but not quite and then you can just slide your material up in there but then you have to make sure that your saw cut and your material are the exact same thickness uh, this is pretty wide uh, and I just don't want to bother with it I'm gonna just take it over the chop saw hack it smooth off and then we're gonna come back and glue it together so I'm gonna go over to the chop saw and cut that angle right quick and I'll be right back. So I cut side one apart there. Now we are going to glue it back together and we're going to put a couple of these paint sticks in its place. So just like just like so. We'll see how good I am at getting it back together. You want to keep these lines of the board actually in line here, the edges. <laughs> so your life would be a lot easier if you start with a square stock again. All right.
Now I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw. I'm not going to show you guys, but essentially I'm just going to trim this waste off on both sides. That could have been a little more frugal over here. That's just wasted, but oh well. All right, so I got those trimmed off of both sides. Now I'm just going to repeat the exact same step on side two. I'll be back. All right, side two is cut. You can see inside there where we put the first piece in. Again, we're just gonna repeat the process. The whole thing is very repetitive at this point. Get these bevels lined up and I can waste a little bit less material this time and actually get it nice and tight like that. But first I gotta put some glue on it, right? Wood glue would work just fine with this, but then you got to worry about clamping it and time. This CA glue with this activator, it all happens very quick. You put that activator on there and it actually starts smoking it glue cures so fast. I'm just gonna go trim that off. All right, I know you would never have guessed what the next step is, but it is to rotate it over to side three and do the same thing. What a guest, side three, split apart. Now we're gonna glue it. I know, it looks like garbage. <laughs> and it may look like garbage in the end, but uh, we're gonna try it first and see. Here we go, cut this off. Side three all glued up. Now we're gonna go to side four. So, I know what you're thinking. What garbage is this? I'm still holding out hope that this is going to look nice. All right, I'm going to go trim this up. Side one, side two, side three, side four, and that's it. Uh, and just so you know, there's an X pattern. It looks like there's a line here and a line here where I cut it straight and glued it in, but that's really just the base of this side over here. You're seeing this one would be the base of this side right here. So no steps other than what you just saw. Cut side one, side two exactly the same. Side three, exactly the same. Side four, exactly the same. Then it's on to the lathe. Let's turn this garbage into something that might look kind of cute. We'll see. What does it just say cute? Hey, this is where the magic happens.
not really not that difficult and uh, you know take your time and get your angles right and it'll look a lot better than this one but in all honesty you can be pretty sloppy uh, and it still comes out really cool I kind of like how it's narrower in some spots and wider than uh, in others uh, but there you go the inside of the bowl looks pretty cool too Thanks for watching.